quick frame relay tutorial um, through the Delsey numbers down just so you could see what's going to go where along with the addresses and whatnot. So let's just get started really quick. Enable configure terminal. Let's change the host name to R1. Interface 000 is the one we're going to work on. We need to change the encapsulation to frame relay. Now we need to set up our sub interfaces. So we're going to do a 102. And these sub interfaces are all going to be point to point. So make sure you put point to point uh, when you're doing sub interfaces, or it's just not going to create one. You need to set your Delsey number to, I would say, the same thing as the sub interface number that you made, just so it's easy to keep track. You should put descriptions in but um, we're not going to do that for this quick tutorial. Set the IP address. We're doing a slash 30. And that's done. We need to turn it on yet, but we're, we'll do that once we get this other uh, sub-interface put in there. That 103. Again, point to point. be a 103 with an IP address 172.203.2.255.255.255.252 which is another slash 30. Interface 000. No shot. And write that to Good, that one's all done. Go to R2. No. Enable configuration terminal host R2. Phase 000. Encapsulation frame relay. 00.201. Again, point two point. Delsey number, IP address 172.201.2.255.252 again for a slash 30. Go on to the next sub interface, 203.2 point with a Delsey number of 203. Address 172.202.1 and again a slash 30. And turn on the interface, write that to your config, and that one's done. Final router. Enable, configure the terminal. Change the encapsulation to frame, relay, subinterface 301, and point to point. Cannot forget point to point. If you don't put it in there, you can't make your subinterface. You'll just get a funky error. DLC number 301, IP address 72203.2255. And a slash 30. Final sub interface 302.2.2. The Delsey number of 302. IP address 72202. Sorry about that. And turn it on. And write that to your configuration. And it's all done. All these routers are all set up. Now you just got to set up the frame relay cloud. 
Um, let's first uh, connect the devices. They're all going to connect to uh, a serial on the cloud. So we'll start with zero and attach that to zero, 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 one, again, zero, 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 and the last one again. You know, so the, the frame relay handles the clock rate, so just make it so. Uh, don't don't try doing the clock rate on your router. If you do that, you're just freaking a moron. Um, open up the cloud, and you're going to set your DLC numbers up on there. So you want to make the names really simple to follow. So 102 is going to be linking to R2, and 3 is going to go to R3. That's done with serial zero. Go to the next one. 201, R2 to R1, add it. R3 to R3, add that. Move on to the next serial. 301, R3 to R1, add that. R2 gets a 302, and that's done. So the delicies are all in here. Now you just got to link them together. Serial 0, which was R1. We want to go to R2, so serial 1, R2 to R1, add it. Serial 0, R1 to R3, serial 2, R3 to R1, add it. Last link we need is an R2 to R3, so serial 1, R2 to R3, to serial 2, R3 to R1, add it. You're done. As you can see, it works just fine. If you want to build your networks farther than this, go ahead. Just remember you're going to need something uh, to tell stuff where it's going to go. OSPF, EIGRP, RIP, whatever. That's it.